talk a little bit about the weather right now and look at this stunning photograph. It was sent out by the National Weather Service and it says with plenty of low clouds in the lowlands, the higher elevations were treated with some pretty amazing views like this one up at Crystal Mountain. And you can see there some snowboarders were caught on camera taking it all in, maybe getting a little bit of rest for the day and just a beautiful <laughs> sight there. It is, especially uh, just thinking about how they would be jumping down into what seems like a big white mass of nothing because you don't see anything that you get through the cloud. Boy, that's pretty though. We still got some green on the Doppler radar. Rain showers still around and we've got them right in that convergence zone which seems to be aligning with I-90 right now. A little shower skirting across Lake Washington over Mercer Island and making its way across Sammamish. Most all of these showers are now tracking up into the Cascades and they're mostly falling apart, but you can see a little bit of intensity in the showers as they pass through Snoqualmie and start to move up into the mountains. Well, right now on the Seattle waterfront, it's dry. It's 54 degrees and cloudy. Southwest wind, seven miles an hour. We'll expect mostly cloudy skies tonight. And we're also gonna have those few showers probably linger into the very early morning hours before they completely diminish. Temperatures tonight, expect them to be a little bit cooler than we have been the last few nights. Upper 30s to the low 40s with those showers tapering off. Tomorrow, no lack of sunshine. We're going to get some morning clouds definitely to start the day. But after we get to, to about, I'd say 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, that's when we're going to start to see more and more sunshine come through. Temperatures will be warming up nicely with that. High pressure is what's bringing us the dry weather and the sunshine. Coming in right behind it on its heels, though, a little trough of low pressure that'll bring in mostly cloudy skies and light rain showers for Monday. So we get a grab tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow in the mountains, partly sunny skies, Past highs mid to upper 40s. Freezing level lifting up to about 5,500 feet by the end of the day. Tomorrow morning for the spotty AM drizzle, that's probably going to be mostly in the foothills of the Cascades. Otherwise, we're going to get to the sunshine. Sunset 823, so an extra long time to enjoy temperatures mainly in the upper 50s to low 60s. Mid 60s around Tacoma, down towards Chehalis, where it will be 65. Closer to the 60 degree mark for Bellingham and Mount Vernon. Seven day forecast after such a beautiful day tomorrow, both Sounders and the Mariners will enjoy this. Monday is going to be a more cloudy, sort of a damp, drizzly day and temperatures will cool down upper 50s. We'll get back to the low 60s, which is normal this time of year, and we'll have partly sunny skies clear away in Tuesday's afternoon. Wednesday all day, filtered sun, highs near 70. And then Thursday afternoon, a stronger storm starts to approach the coast. And this one looks like it's going to bring some heavier showers, potentially small hail, and a slight risk of a thunderstorm each afternoon, Friday and Saturday. All right, Rebecca, thank you.